Good morning everybody, this is Stephen Pugh of the Home Bible College. This is May the 31st and it's Acts chapter 14, uh, verse 1 to 20. And in this passage we have uh, something of an insight into the ministry of Paul and Barnabas while they're in Turkey. Um, the passage divides into three. First of all, they come to Iconium and they both go into the synagogue of the Jews. And as a result of their preaching and teaching, there are a great multitude of Jews and Greeks become Christians. However, the unbelieving Jews um, stirred up the Gentiles and affected their minds evilly against their brothers. And Paul and Barnabas spent a long time speaking boldly in the name of the Lord, and they gave testimony unto the word of his grace, and God granted signs and wonders to be done by his hands, um, by their hands. But the multitude of the city was divided, so this city was completely divided down the middle over Paul and Barnabas. Um, and so a riot is uh, brought about and they want to, um, both the Jews and the Gentiles that are unbelievers, they want to take hold of Paul and they want to kill him if they can. Um, but the disciples, Paul and Barnabas and the believers, they were aware of this plan and so they slipped away and they ran to Lystra and Derbe which were cities of Lyconia and of the region round about, and there they preached the gospel. At Lystra, they find a man who is impotent in his feet. He is a cripple and he has never walked. That's the important point. So this is not just a miracle. This is a messianic sign or, as we have it in these days, an apostolic sign. This is something that is so totally um, impossible that nobody in their right minds would even conceive of the idea of healing a man like this. But Paul realises that the man has faith to believe, so he calls him to stand up, and immediately he does, and God heals him. This is a, the sort of the counterpart to the man who was at the beautiful gate, and Peter healed. It's the counterpart to that. As soon as they realised that this had happened, the people of the city of Lystra, they gather in the marketplace and they say, oh, this is wonderful. The, these are the two gods that have come down from heaven. Barnabas must be Jupiter and Paul must be Mercurius. Mercurius was the messenger. Paul was the main speaker. And so they come down and the, the, uh, the chief um, priest comes down and they bring garlands and they bring offerings to the gods as they see them. And Paul and Barnabas, they tear their clothes and they run amongst the people and say, don't do this thing. Don't treat us as gods that have come down to earth. And then uh, while, they, while they're speaking, Paul says, you know, all of these empty things, all of these empty things, you know, God, the God of heaven and the God of earth and the God of the sea and all things in it. In times past, he he allowed the nations to walk in their own ways. However, he didn't leave himself without witness to them because he did them good and he gave them rain from heaven and fruitful seasons and filled their hearts with food and gladness. Now this is interesting, isn't it? How does God deal with the Gentile nations? Well, he deals with them by the way in which he provides for their daily needs. And through these, 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 this preaching, Paul is able to get the people to not make offerings um, to them in the form of idolatry. And just as this is all coming to an end, so in one place they want to kill him and then they want to make him a god, Paul has great difficulty. Anyway, the Jews eventually from Antioch and Iconium arrive and they persuade the people they've caught up with Paul and they persuade the people and they take him out and they stone him to death as it were and uh, they pulled him out of the city and they they uh, presumed that he was dead um, 
However, when the disciples stood round about, Paul rose up, he got up, and he went back into the city, and the next day he departed with Barnabas to Derbe. So being with the Apostle Paul is dangerous. Being with the Apostle Paul is being with a man whom God will punish, and God will allow evil men to not so much punish him, but persecute him, and persecute him even to death. So initially they wanted to kill him and he escaped. Then when he gets to Lystra, he heals a man. And then the people of Iconian finally catch up with him. And when they do, they kill him as they think. And the result of that is that they, um, they are able to um, think that they'd killed him. But Paul rises up and resumes his ministry. So there we are. That's my thoughts for today and look forward to talking to you tomorrow. Bye for now. All the best.